Hi, I'm Daniel Ogilvy with the Texas Instruments TMS 570 Microcontroller Applications Team. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Halkogen, or Hardware Abstraction Layer Code Generation Tool, in conjunction with the TMS 570 USB stick in Code Composer Studio, or CCS. Halkogen provides a graphical user interface that allows a user to configure peripherals, interrupts, clocks, and other microcontroller parameters. Once the device is configured, the user can generate peripheral initialization and driver code, which can be imported into CCS. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a simple Halgogen project to toggle an LED using the high-end timer on the TMS570 USB stick. Using Halgogen, I will generate and import the code into CCS, then program and debug the code with CCS. To create a new project, launch Halgogen, then click on File, New, and select Project. Select the appropriate device under the TMS570 family. I will call this project, Project 1. If you've already used CCS, use the same workspace directory for both CCS and Halcogen. Otherwise, you should set your workspace to C colon backslash my workspace. When prompted to create a new directory, click OK. Once the Halcogen home screen loads, you will notice two rows of tabs with a block diagram below. Each block in the diagram, which represents a peripheral on the TMS570 device, corresponds to one of the tabs in the top level. The second level of tabs corresponds to the available settings of the currently selected peripheral. With the device tab selected, click the Driver Enable bottom level tab. Since this demo will only use the high-end timer, deselect all the checkboxes in the Enable Driver compilation list except the HET driver box. This will ensure that Halcogen only generates code to control a high-end timer. On the top level tabs, select the HET tab. From this tab, you can fully configure the HET peripheral. For example, you can set up clocks, configure the HET PWM generation, and enable the HET interrupts. For this demonstration, select pin 0 through 7. In the bit 0 subgroup, click the DIR checkbox. This will change the pin from an input to an output. Now, change the value in the D out drop down to a 1, which will enable the HET pin to drive the LED high. Next, click the PSL or Pull Select checkbox so that only the internal pull down is selected. This concludes the Halcogen configuration. I will now generate the code for use in CCS. To do this, go to File and click Generate Code. You will notice the file structure on the right-hand side of the screen will populate. You can open any of the generated files to view them, but you cannot compile them with Halcogen. It is now time to use CCS. You may close Halcogen and connect your device. To launch CCS, navigate Start, Programs, Texas Instruments, Code Composer Studio, and select Code Composer Studio. If this is your first time to use CCS, make sure you set your workspace to match the workspace you selected for the Halcogen project. First, you will need to make sure you're in the C slash C++ perspective. To do this, click the C slash C++ button located in the upper right hand corner of the screen. To create a new CCS project, navigate to File, New, and select CCS Project. Enter the project name as Project 1. Use the default location, which is the workspace you previously specified. Verify that the project type is ARM and that both debug and release are checked then click Next. Since there are not any reference projects or dependencies, click Next again. Now make sure your device variant is Cortex-R and select the appropriate TMS device and click Finish. Now on the left hand side of the screen, you will see an explorer called C slash C++ projects. From this tree, open the file sys underscore main dot C. It is important to note that each time you generate code using Halcogen, all of your code will be overwritten except for code in the areas marked with the comments user code begin and ending with user code end. Inside of user code area 1, I will add a header file to include the high end timer headers. Inside of user code area 3, I will add the following.
Finally, in user code area 4, I will add the following functions which were generated in Halkogen. To finish the project, go to Project Build Active Project. Now, in order for CCS to program the code generated into the embedded flash of the device, I will need to set up a target configuration. This lets CCS know what device you have so it will be programmed correctly. First, go to Target and select New Target Configuration. A window will appear requesting a name for our, our new configuration. I will call it TMS570.ccxml. Now click Finish. A new view will appear with a list of the available emulators and devices. Select Connection, Texas Instruments XDS 100 V2 USB Emulator. In the box labeled Type Filler Text, type TMS570. Then click on the appropriate TMS570 device. Save this target configuration and close the tab. Now CCS is ready to program the flash. To program the flash memory with the code just generated, go to Target and select Debug Active Project. A window will appear showing the progress of the flash programming. This may take a few moments. Once the device is programmed, click the green run arrow. Once the program is run, you can see the HET0 LED turn on. Congratulations, you've successfully generated code using Halkogen and programmed it to your device using CCS. For more assistance and examples using Halkogen, reference the help topics located in the help menu of the Halkogen software. For more information on TMS 570 products, visit our website at www.ti.com slash TMS 570. And thank you for watching this video.